What's up, WordPress nerds? In today's video, we're gonna be going over post meta and how it works in WordPress. This is gonna be a helpful skill whether you are working on a custom plugin or a custom theme or anything in between. Uh, we're gonna go over how it works with the database, adding, removing, and kind of a little bit of the nuances with it as well. Um, before we get started, I also wanted to shout out WP Rocket, which is my favorite caching plugin for WordPress. I use it on all of my freelance projects, and it does an amazing job of making your WordPress site faster. So if you want to support me in the channel, there is a link in the description that will take you there. And if you end up uh, buying the plugin, I get a small kickback from WP Rocket. And lastly, if you are new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of my weekly WordPress videos. All right, let's jump into the rest of the video. All right, so I've just got a, an essentially a blank WordPress theme here. It's just got a style.css that lets me activate it, and then an index.php, which is where we're gonna be spending most of our time. Um, I have a post inside of the WordPress database um, called Goodbye Mars, and it has the post ID of five. And that's gonna come into play when we start using our PHP functions to manipulate the post meta. And then on top of that, I just have another um, page open that's adminer, and it just lets us take a look at the WordPress database. You can use, you know, uh, something like SQL Pro or whatever, PHP My Admin, whatever you have available. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be spending time in this uh, WP Post Meta table. So let me zoom, zoom in here. Um, and if we look inside of here, we just have a couple different pieces of post meta. And it looks like the page that we're gonna be working with or the post we're gonna be working with has one and it's just kind of saving the edit lock. So uh, let's go over about what meta is. Meta is miscellaneous information that is specific to a post. And you can add meta, you can remove meta, you can update meta, and you can do all sorts of things with that. And it's kind of just arbitrary kind of keys and val or keys and values that um, you can assign to a post. So let's just imagine a scenario really quick that we have a plugin or a theme that needs to add fruits or something like that to a post. So um, certain blog posts have a fruit associated with it or many fruits associated with it. And we want to be able to add that and remove that and just manipulate it. So WordPress gives us a handful of PHP functions that we can use to do that. So the first one that I'm going to uh, have here is called add post meta. And my autocomplete here is kind of giving us some hints as to uh, what this, what arguments this takes. So the first is gonna be the post ID of the post that you want to be assigning meta to. So in this case, we're gonna be working with post ID number five, which is goodbye Mars. The next is an arbitrary meta key, which is just a string of whatever identifies this piece of meta. So in this case, I'm just gonna call it fruit. This can be whatever you want. Um, and then the meta value is going to be um, whatever fruit that is. It can be any type of information. It can be an array, it can be a string, an integer, things like that. But we're gonna keep it simple and make it a string and we're just gonna make this an orange. And then this is gonna be whether or not this particular key of fruit can, is going to be unique. Um, in this case, we're gonna just say false because we're gonna end up adding multiple fruits to this post in a second. But let's just re uh, save that. We're going to come back here and refresh the page. Um, and then we are going to refresh our post meta. So it looks like here, and let's just limit this down real quick. So we just wanna say that the post ID is equal to five and hit sit select. So that way we're only seeing meta information about the post with the ID of five. And it says right here that we have a uh, fruit as the meta key and the meta value as orange. So what we can do with that is we can print our get post meta, which is a, um, another function that WordPress gives us. And this is gonna come back and ask us to put in the post ID, which is gonna be five. We wanna pull in the um, key of fruit. And we're gonna, it's gonna ask us whether we want it to come back as a single or as multiple. And we'll get into that in a second, but we're just gonna say true for now. Um, and then, so let's comment this out and we're just going to print out. So we have this in the database. We wanna see if 
that will show up. So yes, we have a new string here that's printing out orange. So the these last two parameters are the ones that I want to focus on really quick. Um, actually, you know what? Let's 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 uh, skip that real quick, and uh, let's also say like we don't want that fruit to show up there anymore. Uh, what we can do is we can do um, delete post meta. And again, it's asking for the ID, the key, which is going to be fruit. And this is where you can specify if uh, you have multiple fruits, which one, uh, which value it should match that should be deleted. And it's an optional one. So we're just going to leave that off for a second. We'll circle back to it. So we have delete post meta in here. We're going to refresh and it's gone, but we also got rid of the print. So even if it was still there, it would uh, still be in the database, but let's check the database. If we refresh this fruit is now gone. So that's the way that you can add it, get it and delete it. But there's a little bit more to it than that. So let's uh, take a look back at this first one here. So we have fruit and that is orange as a string and that is false. So this false means that it doesn't have to be unique. So we can, or the key doesn't have to be unique. So we could have, you know, fruit, uh, grape and fruit apple. So if we do that and refresh our index page and refresh here, we now have three fruits, each with a different value. And then, so if we come back and we want to print out those fruits, uh, well, we can come back here and you would think that this would just work right away, right? But no, it's only grabbing the first one. And the reason why is because we have this true statement here and that means that it's only gonna be grabbing the first one. So if we come back in here and we say false, it's gonna come back with an array of everything that matches this key. So since we have three fruits, orange, grape, and apple, we uh, now are getting back an array of orange, grape, and apple. So that's where that comes into play. Uh, we can also say that we want to get, um, we want to delete all of the po post metas that have the key of fruit or singular pieces of fruit. So let's uh, come back here and say instead of, because remember there was a third key here, um, what we can say is we want to delete the, uh, the, the meta that uh, of fruit, which is orange. And if we refresh this and refresh here, we only have grape and apple and those are the only to left. So that kind of rounds out that little um, chunk of data. We can also uh, we can also uh, update the meta in place. So let's say, for example, here we've got our grape and we want to update that to orange, but we don't want to update apple. So what we can do is another function called update post meta, and that's going to ask for the post ID. That's going to ask us what key we're wor working with, which is fruit and the value we want to update it to, which is gonna be orange, and what the value previously was, which is gonna be grape. And so that should make it so we don't update apple and we only update grape to orange. So let's go back and refresh this. And if we refresh our apple or our, our, our database, uh, we see that grape changed to orange. So you can update these pieces in place as well. Uh, the last thing that I want to go over is just uh, what these last flags here in add post meta mean. So right now we have um, false, which means that there can be uh, lots of them. But let's say we've got veggies. Um, we've got let's do add post meta and we have five and the meta key is veggie and the value is going to be carrot. And let's say that this is true. So if I save that and we, you know, we haven't, I refresh this, but there's no veggies. If I refresh this page and then refresh the database, we have carrot, which is exactly what we expected. If I refresh the page again and try and add more carrots, then I refresh this page and I still have only one carrot. Now, if I were to make this false, and say it's not unique and I refresh the page and I refresh this, you know, three times or whatever, we're going to have an additional uh, amount of carrots. So like it makes it so you can have lots of different carrots um, 
on that particular post type. So it makes it sure that you only have a single um, value there. So you know, kind of use that in in a um, in a how it makes sense to you. But just so you know, it took me a little while to figure out exactly what that meant in the database. So hopefully you found this video um, helpful. Um, if you liked it, please leave a thumbs up on the video. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'd also like to thank my patrons. We uh, just released our unique, uh, our, unique uh, our exclusive video on Laravel Mix in um, on Patreon. So if you're interested in that, we also have videos on uh, deploying WordPress with Git and headless WordPress with Gatsby, things like that are there. So if that's the kind of thing you're interested, in, maybe go check it out. Well, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next one.